Joining us now on the WashU Sports Network is the men's basketball coach at Washington University in St. Louis, head coach Pat Yuckum. Coach, thanks for joining us. Hey, Chris. Thanks for having me on today, buddy. Coach, this is our Bears in Hibernation weekly feature that we do with our head coaches and our staff members at WashU. So thanks for coming on here today. So my first question for you, Coach, is what's been keeping Coach Yuckum busy during COVID-19, I'm sure lots of family time. That's, that's been certainly the silver lining from, uh, you know, from, from what we're being going through. I think we had a, for a while I was doing an, a, a daily count as how many straight dinners we've had together as a family. I think I lost count in the 60s. I think I drove my family crazy with the, with the counting of that. Um, you know, you're right. It's been, it's been some, it's been time with family. I have two teenage boys and, uh, um, so well aware of, of, you know, the, the, the time or, or how quickly that, that, uh, that age is fleeting. Right. And, uh, so we've, you know, we've done some things that I think in, in normal times, uh, which we all long for, we maybe wouldn't have done. Um, you know, I, we went out and explored a lot of the trails, uh, in the, you know, St. Louis, uh, greater St. Louis area, which we have a bevy of. And, and, uh, so we, we've, been, we've enjoyed that time together. I think we're all in, uh, unanimous in our belief that we'd love to get back to, uh, you know, kind of normal uh, living experiences. Normalcy would be great, Coach. I do have to ask, being a Brewers fan from Wisconsin, living in Cardinals country, baseball is right around the corner, hopefully. How excited are you for possibly to watch some baseball in a few weeks? I think we're, we're starving for any kind of sport, <laughs> uh, for sure. Um, you know, it, it's, it's been one of the great things about moving to St. Louis as a Brewers fan is having, uh, you know, the Brewers come through a ton. I've probably watched the Brewers play in person more since I've moved to St. Louis than I did when I lived in Wisconsin. Um, and I've obviously both, you know, last couple of years, both teams have been really good. And um, I, I'll say I, I've, I've did, connected with, St., with Cardinals fans in this agreement that we both dislike the Cubs. Um, so we, we found kind of a kinship there. Um, you know, Bush Stadium is great. It's a great place to watch a game. Um, I, I know you're a Cardinals fan, and, and it's the banter is fun, and, and I just really appreciate the, the, the history. And, the, you know, I think Cardinals fans are, are some of the best. And uh, so it's been great to be able to, you know, stay kind of connected to the Brewers. They've been good, which uh, in my lifetime has been few and far between. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. I, my last game I was at, and I, I'm sure I texted you that day, was – the, uh, the, the Ryan Braun eighth inning uh, grand slam uh, kind of late in the, in the race last year. Uh, I, I don't think there was more of a handful of Brewers fans in the stadium. So my son and I went crazy and, and, and certainly got stared at, but uh, uh, enjoyed it. And it's, uh, I, I hope that we get, you know, that, that season gets back rolling here real soon. Coach, let's, uh, let's talk about the end of last year. I'm sure it seems like a blur. It was around four months ago. I was uh, with uh, you and the Bears in Chicago. We're preparing for a big-time Sweet 16 game at North Central, and boom, we're in the middle of practice. Season's canceled. Um, Coach, what do you remember from that day since you've had some time to reflect uh, with it being about four months ago? It's four months, and it feels like four years. <laughs> Um, you know, so much has, has passed in that time. Um, you know, I've been asked a lot, obviously, uh, reflecting back on, on you know, uh, our season in, in general and how it, it, it came to a completion. I, I think that my biggest takeaway, a couple of things. One is, and you know this, we, we have, we had phenomenal guys. We have phenomenal young men in our program. And man, they're just, they're, they're, they're so fun to, uh, to coach, to be around on a daily basis. And I think as, you know, certainly when you get to March and you're playing in March, you know, that is, everything's heightened. It is so, it's, it's such a great time in, in college basketball. And for our guys to experience it and then to experience success in advancing, um, you know, w w is always thrilling. And then you compound that with sort of, we could start to see what was coming, particularly that week of the Sweet 16 game. You know, I, I know we talked about, Hey, you know, Hey, our time together may be short, you know, let's continue. Let's, let's stay together as long as we can. Can we, can we stay together a couple more weeks just by, you know, staying locked in and, and we were playing extremely well. Um, so I think there was a, a, a sense of, you know, kind of the fleeting nature of, of, of what was, what was going on. Um, uh, you know, just, I'm really grateful 
uh, I'm grateful for the, the season that we had, the young man that we had it with. Um, one of our guys had said shortly after, you know, coach, I felt like we had a full season and, and we experienced, you know, it was a full journey. Um, you know, we had, we had challenges like any team does in any really good season. Um, our guys um, uh, met those head on, I think grew together. And, and at the end we were playing our, our best basketball and, uh, and just doing it with a great group of guys. Made it a blast. I'm just very thankful that we had the opportunity. Coach, you went 22-5, and five, won the UA title, went to the Sweet 16, played some really good basketball out in Nebraska. Uh, I, you know, I'll tell you what, those games against Bethany Lutheran and Nebraska Wesleyan, I really thought maybe you guys played your best basketball this season. So do, is that one positive that you can take away from the season that, hey, we ended the season on a win and maybe we're playing our best basketball? You know, I think it is, it is my goal, and I think goal of coaches, is, is to help your team reach its full potential. And, and that's not a, a numerical, you know, um, number of wins. It's just – you just kind of know when you've, you've kind of maxed out. And I think we were approaching that um, of how we were playing. You know, we, we had uh, an unusual amount of injuries during the year. And um, while in the moment that was, that was really challenging, it really created opportunities for some other – young men in our, our program to really step forward. And they certainly did that. Um, so to see that growth of, of, uh, uh, of our players. And then when we, you know, did get a little more healthy near the end, um, you know, we really, we were deep. We had guys that were playing confidently. I think we really kind of found, you know, kind of our a true identity. And um, so, you know, we certainly played extremely well, you know, in Nebraska, um, you know, played, you know, really, you know, really good Bethany team. And then a, you know, top five team in, in, in Nebraska Wesley and, and uh, you know, played terrifically. And, uh, you know, I, I think our group, we talk a lot about, you know, being a player led program. Um, it really, as I look back, and I think in the moment you don't recognize it, but as I look back, you know, really our guys were, 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 were coaching each other. You know, as a coach, I think our, my staff, we were stepped back a little bit. Um, you know, we were just guiding at that point. They were leading, they were, um, uh, you know, you know, taking control of our, of our program in every sense. And I think when you can achieve that and you have the type of young men that, that we have, um, I think that that creates the highest ceiling possible. And I think we were approaching that, you know, in March. All right, coach, let's take it back a few years. Um, during these interviews with our head coaches, I like to talk a little bit about your playing career. So you played some hoops up at uh, Lawrence, up in Wisconsin. Tell our fans, what kind of player was Coach Yuckum? Were you a three-point shooter? Did you hit the glass? Uh, did you come off the bench? Were you a starter? What kind of player was Coach Yuckum back in the day? Moderately talented, um, to say the least. Uh, um, you know, my, my biggest claim, the guys that, that I played with or knew me as a player, um, you know, I was, uh, I was a little bit undersized, um, kind of for you know the position I played I, I you know was sort of a kind of a swing three four man if you will and I loved to scream and, and uh, I, I loved I loved probably just because that's where my talent lended itself to um, you know I I, pl I played uh, you know I think I was a three-year starter um, you know our program that I played for um, you know it was up and down um, but I will say this my, my last year uh, we had a, a new coach and uh, who became a mentor of mine, John Tharp. He's now at Hillsdale College in Michigan. And uh, I, I learned so much from him in terms of, um, not just from a coaching standpoint, I ended up spending six years as his assistant um, a little bit later. But I, I think I learned more and had more appreciation for the game because of his enthusiasm, his passion. He was 25 or 26, I think, when he was the head coach. He got the job, so he wasn't that much older than me. Um, but really ended on a high note. And, and, and you know, a couple years after, um, I could see kind of the foundation of that program being built at Lawrence. And then, you know, three years later, um, he took it to some unprecedented, you know, heights in terms of uh, success. But uh, um, I, could, I could knock down a shot um, if, if left wide open. <laughs> um, but uh, enjoyed setting a good hard screen and, and really just enjoyed the opportunity to play basketball, you know, at the college level. Was, um, um, as I look back, just a real blessing. Coach, I know we've chatted about this before. You dabbled into college football for one year. You got to talk about that experience real quick because you have good size. Uh, 
I could see maybe playing a little tight end. Yeah, so I, I did play um, my senior year. I, I played, uh, went, played football and basketball, played both. Um, I intended, I, I lived with a bunch of football players and, and um, they just kind of wore me down over, over time. Um, and, I, and I kind of got to the point where, you know, this is it. If I'm going to give it a shot, you know, I was, I was going to be a senior. This was, this was my time. I didn't want to kind of look back and say, God, I wish I would have done it. And, and, and I'm, I'm so glad I did. It was, um, you know, football is just a totally different animal. And, and I, um, just the dynamic of, of, uh, of the sport, of the nature of, the, of your team and having you know, two sides of the ball. Uh, we ran a triple option offense. So if you think of like Air Force, um, I think, uh, you know, kind of like, so we had no tight end. So I was a, I probably would, was more of a tight end, you know, in terms of physique and, and skill, but we didn't. So I was, a, I was split out and um, my counterpart was same size. We were two, you know, wide receivers who were, you know, six, three, 200 plus. Uh, I might've been the slowest wide receiver in division three football. Um, but I think it was my advantage. I, I could, I could run a mean, you know, seven yard hitch, uh, five yard slant. Um, our running, our rushing attack was so good. We had a great quarterback, kind of dual threat dude and a, and, and a running game that we always got single coverage. So I did have a one-on-one -on -one and every once in a while, they just throw the ball up to me and I could go play jump ball. Um, but uh, it, it was, it was a lot of fun. We had a prolific, actually had a great offense. We scored a ton. Unfortunately, we gave up a lot of points as well. Um, but man, had great memories and, and, um, um, I'm thankful I did. I, I don't know that I could have pulled that off for four years, but man, that last year, uh, it was a, it was a blast. Thanks for sharing that story, coach. That's really neat that, uh, to see a, a division three student athlete excel at two sports coach. My last question for you, let's talk a little bit about the 2021 season. You, uh, added three newcomers to your roster a couple weeks ago. You, you returned 12. So you got a nice squad coming back for 2021. How excited are you and your uh, coaching staff to get back on the court with your Bears in 2021? We can't wait. Um, and I, I think I speak probably for, for coaches across the country, uh, you know, uh, of, of any sport that, you know, this time away, um, you know, has led us to reflect so much about, you know, just, you know, what it means to do what we do. And, and, and so much, I think the good fortune of, you know, coaching and leading at a place like Wash U is the young men that you have um, are, are exceptional and, and certainly have made me a lot better in my, my time here. Um, really excited about our group. You know, we, we had, you know, five senior, five really uh, impactful seniors that, that graduated this year um, that we're certainly going to miss, but I think their legacy is left behind. And uh, just like the groups that went before them have poured into them. So uh, our 12 returners, um, you know, I know I've been, I've been diligent in, in the work this off season and I've had to, you know, had to be creative. Um, and, but uh, I, I'm confident that they are getting better. Um, and, uh, you know, they learned so much, I think. And so I'm excited for that. We have two seniors, uh, Jack Nolan, Peyton Webb. Uh, obviously Jack is, uh, you know, his success that he's had is, is uh, stands by itself. And then Peyton Webb um, really came into his own and, and, and got healthy and, and really, um, had a tremendous, you know, led our league in three-point shooting. I think it was 50% from, from three over the course of the season, which is uh, remarkable. And I think he is going to really uh, step forward. Um, he, he, I think he's, he's just a worker. I mean, he's someone that's really developed himself into a, a full, complete uh, player at both ends. Um, you know, our junior class got a lot of, um, you know, guys like Cam Mack, Charlie Jacob. Um, had some real big opportunities this year. Obviously, Justin Hardy's impacted our program from day one. David Winley's a young man who's been waiting, biding his time, and uh, he's been working incredibly hard. Uh, I'm really excited for him to impact. We had a really strong freshman class. Several of those guys got on the floor last year. Some of our, our young big kids moving into their sophomore years, I think they're going to take that jump. And then our, our, our incoming freshmen, Tyler Cars, Carlson, Kobe Rada, Jabari Chafe. Um, they're eager, they're anxious. Um, and, and they, they have the attributes that we look for. So, um, you know, just can't wait to get our group together. I think that first time that we're together, you know, whether it be in a, in a team meeting or whatever, whatever um, environment will be, will be um, incredibly powerful. And so we're, 
looking forward to uh, you know, our, our next journey for sure with this group. Well, Coach, I wanted to thank you for coming on and uh, talking a little bit about your past and a little bit about last season and this upcoming season. Really look forward to seeing you in the office soon. I really look forward to the banter between the Cards and the Brewers here in these next few weeks. And stay safe, Hope, hopefully your family as well, and I look forward to seeing you soon, Coach. And likewise, Chris, and, and uh, echo that. And, and obviously just miss uh, um, the environment we have at WashU and being around uh, our colleagues and our student athletes. So uh, looking forward eagerly to getting back uh, back to that here soon.